Howdy. So let's go over a little bit about managed disks. I went over these a little bit in the previous video, but I just want to touch a little bit more on them. Um, so let's do that now. So we, we attached, let's go to our virtual machine. So we attached a, a data disk to our, um, our virtual machine that we have up and running in addition to our, our operating system disk. So by default, whenever you create a new virtual machine, you're going to get an operating system disk, but you can also add a data disk. You know, if you're just trying things out and playing around, an OS disk is fine. But once you get to production things, you might want a, you're going to want a data disk. And, and if you do add a data disk, you're going to actually have to also mount it to your machine, which I'm not going to go over that because that's more on the internal sides. We're, um, this whole course is about infrastructure. So you you can research on that, but you just basically you would need to mount it. Um, but I just want to go a few things about the, the data disks. So let's let's go to the disks. So again, just like everything else, it has its own service. Um, so we've got two disks right now, OS and that. Uh, so let's 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 just look at this for a sec. Um, so going over some things with the disks. So one thing, so you see, we did. 16 gigabytes you know with managed disks on, on azure if during the life cycle of this disk we wanted to decrease the the storage on it you can't do that so we couldn't take this from 16 gigabytes down to eight you know we would have to actually destroy the disk and completely recreate it uh, if we wanted to increase the size of the disk so say like we start running our application and then we like all right we need more than We've used 14 gigs and we've only got 16. We need to like, you know, we need to quickly be able to increase this, the size of this disc. Uh, you you can do that. So that, that and that that's that's easy enough to to do um, if you needed. So so that that's fine. You just can't decrease the disc size. Um, another thing with the discs is you can create a snapshot as well. So you can just take a ba a, a backup of the disc. So that's what makes it nice is to have those data disks. You can just make a, you know, a backup of your Postgres server if you had one on there or your just your, your web application code. Um, so, so, so that's nice. Uh, another thing about the disks is you have three, in the background, you have three replicas of your data. So, you know, so if one thing fails, it's going to fall back to another spot. And if that spot fails, it's going to fall back to a third spot. So, you, so it's it's be very hard to lose your data for what Azure does behind the scenes. And every three three places it has that replica are not in the same exact spot. So there, there, it's so if one spot fails, like two two of those replicas can't just just fail. All right, what else do we want to go over? Let, let's let's go to let's say we want to create just create a new disk here. If we did it from here, you know we have our typical stuff: subscription, resource group. Disk name, let's just go to foo disk. In the region, we're going to do US East, of, of course, availability zone. So if we would have, if our VM is in availability zone, you know, one and, two, you know, two, we'll want to have our managed disk in two as well. Um, do that. Source type. So you have three different places. So a snapshot, like, so if you take took a snapshot of this, this disk, and then you wanted to use that snapshot somewhere else on a different VM or, or something, you can you can choose snapshot to, to choose from. We don't have any snapshots right now. Um, we'll, we'll go over creating snapshots in a, in a different video, but you can also do a storage blob if you wanted to. Um, we don't have any blobs set up yet, so we can just do none. And then of course you have the, the size. Um, and then you also have, let's go to the encryption. So, so by default, the managed disks are encrypted at rest by default. So there's also Azure disk encryption, which uh, we can go over in a sec. But so, so you, can, you can use the default or you can set up your own managed keys with encryption uh, using Azure Key Vault. So that's something out there. We're gonna go, we'll go over that in a very, in, in future videos about Azure Key Vault, but for now, just using the default uh, is fine. 
Yeah. So, so that's very very basic there. But let's let's go to some of the pricing. Um, like I said, there, there's different types of of discs you can have. You know, premium or or standard. So, you know, let's say we took you use the premium. So the premium is good. You know, good for your, most of your workloads. If you have production workloads, you're probably going to want to stay on premium. Um, but you can see some of the pricing. So, if we're on premium here with with you know 256 gigabytes, we're paying thirty eight dollars a month. Uh, so, let's let's see 256 gigabytes a month for the premium. So let's see if we did standard for 256. It's at nineteen dollars a month. So the premium is almost twice as expensive as the standard. So pick and choose what you need. Standard's fine if you're just playing around, you know, or, or just a very low low volume web server you can just use standard is, is, is gonna be fine. Um, that's that, so, so that, that's basically the gist of, uh, of the managed disk.